tired, so I am, uh, I'm getting kind of tired. I'm getting ready for bed, but, um, uh, I wanted to <laughs> update you on the Starlight situation. So, uh, they never got back to me, but the Starlight did actually come. Now, uh, despite this being a fully open source Linux tablet with core boot and everything, you would think, okay, so it probably has like all Libra drivers or something, you know, that'd be, that would make sense, right? And then you can install whatever you want on it because they've got a wide selection of distributions you can put on it. I mean, it's not super wide, but they, they offer the basics. And, um, yeah, so what my friend had done was she had put, taken off LightDM and put on GDM when she installed GNOME because... I think the only distribution that they offered with GNOME was like Ubuntu, and uh, she didn't want Ubuntu, she went with Mint, and as soon as she replaced Cinnamon with GNOME, it um it completely destroyed the touchscreen, like it just wouldn't work anymore, but um, so I was like, okay, well that isn't a huge problem, because I'm sure it's got open drivers, you know, you can just install... Fedora or Debian or whatever you want to use and it'll it should work um, So she did actually she had to order a USB hub for it so she could plug in a keyboard because she didn't order a uh, The external keyboard with it, which was uh, not a great idea <laughs> but she did get a, another keyboard on it so she was able to install Debian and install Fedora and It's still not working yeah, so I don't know what the fuck went wrong with it. I guess because it doesn't automatically work like most two-in-ones, like if I put Fedora or Debian on my two-in-one tablet, I mean, the touchscreen just works out of the box. It's fine, even though it's a Dell, you know? But this, uh, this Starlight thing, man, I don't fucking know what they've been doing, but right now it doesn't work as a tablet. And uh, so this is kind of a warning that... um. Yeah, just because something seems like it's open source doesn't quite mean that everything's gonna work with Linux right out of the box, you know? That's, um, especially with tablets, because tablets really haven't been fully fleshed out yet. The fucking, especially with Wayland, the virtual keyboard situation is abhorrent. It sucks. So, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of what Starlight's done, or what Star Labs have done with this. With this tablet, this is, this is kind of dog shit. But anyway, she has messaged them for help with this, and I think that they said that they offered whatever drivers they were using in, like, a repository. So, I don't know why this stuff isn't, like, built into the kernel or something, but whatever, you know. Um. So, anyways, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say was, uh, be warned just because you buy a product made specifically for Linux doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work super well with Linux, <laughs> which sounds so stupid, but, uh, this kind of brings up a broader point that I've wanted to talk about for a while, which is I kind of don't like the idea that we're making laptops specifically for Linux support because Linux being a free operating system is, should just work on the same computers that Windows works on, you know? Ideally, maybe like some of the proprietary shit doesn't work, but the operating system should work on a normal computer. Otherwise, it's not really an alternative to Windows. You're kind of running it on hardware specifically designed for the thing. But I don't really like that that direction that we're kind of going in where we're making computers specifically for Linux instead of Linux to work specifically with computers. You know? And... You know, it's cool, like, what System76 and Tuxedo and whoever, whatever they're doing, you know? But I think that Linux should just run on a computer, and we shouldn't be... Especially when it gets to the point where we're encouraging people to buy hardware specifically for Linux, which is often overpriced and not, um... Not super widely adopted, you know what I mean? A very niche market, you know? I think that, ideally, we should be working on getting Linux to work on just every computer out there, you know, for the most part. But, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to wanted to talk about today, is just Starlight. I kind of expected there to be issues because when I saw Linux tablet uh, with open whatever, you know, 
I was like, eh, something sounds like this is going to be kind of like a pine phone and this is going to be more of a development thing rather than a, uh, rather than a product you're supposed to be buying because it, there's a problem that, and I've been trying to talk about this with NVIDIA is that when you don't have the vendor support, that becomes a problem, you know? So when you're buying these super niche products, don't be surprised when they don't work right out of the box, you know? Um, because it's a fucking super niche product. Like, what the fuck? You're expecting the... You're expecting, like, the QA, the support of, like, a Dell computer or an HP computer or an Asus computer or whatever. You know, Acer or whatever. All these OEMs. But you're expecting it on a product that just fucking came out, you know? And it's it always throws up a red flag for me when I start seeing new products, especially ones that aren't a traditional product or like a rebadged product being sold as a consumer product, especially when you're running open source software, you know, where anything can go wrong <laughs> and things do go wrong a lot because that's something that people don't really realize is that Linux, despite how far we've come, I'd still have a hard time recommending it to someone. Like, when they go back to Windows, I'm not too surprised, you know? Um, it, was, it was one of those things where even on a well-supported computer that you know it's supposed to work, even like a ThinkPad or something, it can still have issues. And we're, we're still not quite there. I mean, Windows has its own issues, you know? And I've had trouble installing Windows on specific computers, but... Linux, man, is there, there's a lot of a lot of stuff there, you know, and a lot of stuff can go wrong. So, I mean, it's, it's been a problem for me, <laughs> you know. I've had problems with it. So, I don't know. It's it's one of those things I would kind of advise against buying super niche products that you don't quite know are gonna work right for your use case, you know. It might be better for a while, at least stick with the one that has pretty good OEM support, you know? And installing Linux on a, on like a proper computer, you know? But that's just me. Alright, thanks.